What's up, YouTube? This is Dave's Head of Point 7. This is another video to do with Star Wars Battlefront Season Pass Rant 2. Shut the fuck up because you still ain't buying it. <laughs> another video from Dave. And yeah, um, pretty much, I guess my last video pissed a lot of people off. A lot of people that actually, you know, support me, that I support them, that, you know, I. Uh, watch a majority of these dudes video uh, these dudes videos like their stuff now Wade dwell I didn't even know you had a channel and videos going I would have subscribed a while back um, but I help a lot of people out in this community for my little channel my little 541 subs I actually can say that I made some people known in this community gave them a voice Wolflow Levon old dirty the list goes on. And I can sit here and say that in this video with my little last channel. And I let people on my podcast where a lot of people, you know, wouldn't even give you some of you people the fucking time of day. You know, and I've been doing my podcasts ever since I came on YouTube in 2000. Well, not since I've been on YouTube, since I started making videos. I remember when I started my podcast, I went around to people and asked them, oh, you know, can you do a podcast with me? You know, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, well, you only have 20 subs. You know, that's what they were thinking in their head and pretty much said it when I was asking them. Not exactly like that. One person came out like that. And then, you know, it's funny. My little podcast got going. And, you know, at that time, you had Zaire. You had a few others like uh, uh, Gamers at Large. But there wasn't nothing like there is now. Everybody's doing a podcast but I want to see some of you guys that came on my podcast and that I let on this podcast that asked me, Oh, Dave, can I be on your podcast? And I'm not trying to act like my podcast is a shit or anything like that. But I want to see you guys go ask them people if you can go and be on their podcast and see if they let you on their podcast. And then come back to me and see what happens, okay? So what I'm trying to say is I'm more than fucking nice to half you motherfuckers. When I live stream, I don't ignore your comments. When you leave comments on my fucking, uh, in my videos, I get to all your fucking comments. I do miss, you know, there's times where I miss comments, but people have a fucking life. I can't get to every comment. But I'll tell you, I get to more comments than most people here on YouTube that have a fucking YouTube channel. I look at some comment pages where I see all these fucking comments, you know, and nobody fucking responds to them. Same thing with Twitch. People playing games and people writing comments, cheering the dude, watching the dude for hours. Don't even say a fucking word to him. Don't even... Like, acknowledge that they're there. So get the fuck out of here. Don't come on my fucking page blasting me like that, because I'll never support your ass. You'll be gone off my channel. I don't appreciate when you start saying, oh, I will not shut the fuck up. Uh, you shut the fuck up, you corporate whore. I'm not a corporate whore. I'm saying it how it is. Now, let me help you guys through this video, my last video. If you watched the video and you didn't have selective hearing, I was basically saying most people that are bitching about this season pass... We're not even planning on buying the fucking game. No, not even planning on buying the fucking season pass, let alone the fucking game. So why bitch? Now, if you're honestly person, if you're honestly somebody that was planning on getting this game, and you're bitching, that's a different story, you know. But most people here on YouTube bitch about stuff they don't even intend on buying. That was what my video was about. Did I not say in my video that I did not stand by what EA was doing. I said, I don't approve what they're doing. You know, I don't approve, but it is what it is. You know, and it's funny that people are shocked by this. I had some fucking guy send me, you know, pretty much a comparison of what Star Wars Battlefront 2, you know, had going on in it and the new Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah, obviously a lot of content has been stripped out of the game. You know, a lot of content. And, you know, you got all these people bitching about you know, they're about the campaign not being there. Let, let me ask some of you people this. What do you remember of Star Wars Battlefront? Because I don't remember a fucking campaign. I remember fucking the multiplayer that was like Conquest. You know, that was fun. But, I mean, I shouldn't... I asked, I was talking to somebody today. I'm not going to say their name. And I asked them. I said, well, what was the campaign like? Well, I'll have to look up it. I'll have to look it up on YouTube. If it was so fucking great, why do you have to look it up on YouTube? You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, if it was fucking shit, who cares if it's in the game? And that's what these developers are getting like, which I do think there's it's wrong. Some people do like to play the campaign. Very few. How many of you motherfuckers play the campaign on Call of Duty still to this day, where you just don't go straight to the multiplayer? 
Call of Duty used to be all about the campaign. Now it's just a multiplayer. People after years and years didn't even fucking play that campaign no more. It's fucking garbage. Let's get real here. The last one was okay. It was passable, but it wasn't rememberable. You know, let's get real. And then that dude that sent me that, you know, the comparison of the old Battlefront. But, you know, let's compare these. Let, let's just skip the whole fucking thing. Let's go down the bottom to the part, to the part that makes fucking sense. Release date. 2000, November 2005 of the old Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, release date, November 2015. What fucking year are we in, people? What are all these games doing? You're making a big stink about Battlefront, but, you know, what? what is Call of Duty doing? You should see, you should see one of the fucking comments that I got on PlayStation today when somebody said, and I'm going to actually say this. I'm not taking shots at the dude because I actually like the dude. But I'm not, ta I'm not taking shots at him, not, not doing nothing. You know, I respect this dude. Good, good subscriber of mine. Well, not a subscriber because he don't believe in making profiles, but he makes one for fucking PlayStation. It's fucking weird. I, don't ask me. But he actually said Sicilian. He goes to me, great video, Dave. I'm not getting Star Wars Battlefront, but I'm not bitching about it. This season. I'm not bitching about the season pass. November 6, Black Ops 3. <laughs> you know, so he's not buying Star Wars because of the premium, but he's going to buy Black Ops 3 because of their season pass that does the same fucking thing. Get the fuck out of here, people. Get the fuck out of here. Really. It, it's fucking, some of you motherfuckers are fucking stupid when you say stuff. Just shut your fucking mouth. Point of my video, the last one was, was mainly addressing people that are bitching about stuff that they're not even going to fucking, and they weren't even intending on buying in the first place. It wasn't a video saying, I stand by what EA's doing. Basically, what it says, everybody's fucking doing it, you know? And it's not right. I said that in this video, but why is EA such a big issue if all these other motherfuckers are doing it? You got fucking the uh, developers of Evolve that made two season passes, you know? You got fucking Destiny out there that's reselling you the fucking game. Why isn't be and people are making this big stink about Star Wars Battlefront? Because you know why? Because it's the newest fucking topic. And then and when the game comes out, we won't even hear about the fucking season pass with anybody because nobody fucking bought it. But they bitched and bitched and bitched about it. Same thing with uh, fucking Batman Arkham Knight, like I said in my last video. Now that the season pass is out, have I even seen any videos about the bullshit that they gave you with that fucking season pass for $40? A single player game... $40, one of the highest fucking season passes in a game I've ever seen for a single player game. There could be one about that price, but that one, one that comes to mind, where basically they're giving you like half hour campaigns and fucking skins for your Batmobile. But nobody after the fact has anything to say with that. You know, they're like, oh, well, let's wait, see what six months gives us after finally everybody shut the fuck up after a while when the game actually released. But now that the bullshit has been getting dropped, you know, in the in the season pass throughout the six months, and you don't even see any fucking videos, and it's going to be the same thing with fucking Star Wars Battlefront. Just saying. You could sit there and say, I'm damage controlling this. I'm not damage controlling this. I'm pretty much saying what I was fucking saying in the video. Point is... Nobody's even intending on... I'm getting at the people that go and bitch about shit that don't even intend on buying it in the first place. There's so many motherfuckers here on YouTube that just bitch, 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 but never even buy half of these games. They wait till they hit the bargain bin, and then they buy them. Or somebody's give, somebody gives it to them. Gifts it to them. You know, or their subscribers buy it for them. Buy it with your own fucking money at $60. Then I think you have the right to bitch. Then I think you have the right to be upset. But when you're getting the game for next to nothing or given to you, I don't think you should have it. I don't even think you have the right to fucking bitch. You're getting a fucking hell of a deal compared to the people I had to buy it day one for $60 and buy a season pass not discounted for $50. Half these motherfuckers are buying it on the computer where they're getting a fucking huge discount on the game and the season pass day one. So stop fucking crying. You know, you're not buying it day one. And having to spend $60 and $50. But and another point I tried to make in my other video. Look at EA. You got EA that is releasing Star Wars Battlefront. What have they done the past two years? Okay. You had Battlefield Hardline that had a premium. And it was the same price it comes out to be of this game. And then you had Star uh, Battlefield 4 which had a premium. Uh, the game was uh, 60 bucks and 50 bucks for the premium. This year Star Wars Battlefront pretty much replaces battlefield and why did you not think this was going to be done 
What did you think? They were going to have a $20 season pass or give it to you motherfuckers? Get the fuck out of here. I mean, for real. And addressing Nick's video, uh, you know, Nick did a video. I uh, appreciate the uh, shout out and uh, Dwayne well, too. I don't appreciate what you said to me in the comment section after me, you know, actually being a nice dude to you and a lot of my subscribers that did. Not only you, I got blasted by a lot of people that I helped out here on YouTube. And you know what? I'll let this one slide, but if I ever see that shit again, I'm going to be like fucking Black Bond and just fucking ban you motherfuckers. I'm going to be just like fucking Black Bond, how he does it. I'm a nice dude when it comes to YouTube and taking time out of my day to fucking talk to you dudes and be nice to you and get you on the podcast and have a good time with you. But when you start saying shit like that, calling me, telling me, you know, I'm a corporate cox. Uh, what did you call me in the in the video? You pretty much said, I will not shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up, corporate whore. Uh, I was not talking to you. I was talking about the people that were not planning on buying the game anyways. Listen to the fucking video before you run your fucking mouth. And that's straight up. And that's me being fair, saying shit back to you. You want to take it? You want to give it? You're going to take it too. That's how it is. I'm a nice dude to a certain point, and then that's it. You know, around the time of the Gamer Nate shit, you know, I couldn't get nobody. The only dudes that would help me would be RXL, Mr. T, he helped me. Uh, you know, I had some, some bigger YouTubers that were nice dudes. That's why I respect RXL and Mr. T, and I stand by what they, you know, I don't believe in everything they say. But I, I stand behind those dudes 100%. They're good dudes, you know. Uh, you know, I could, t I could take, I can tell you a fucking phony from a real dude, you know. But those people were there when the Gamer Nate stuff, uh, RXL was before that, you know. But, you know, it was funny when the Gamer Nate thing happened, everybody was wanting to jump on, you know, that Dave's had enough show, you know. And I'm helping people out. And really, a lot of dudes that jumped on around then, not all of them, but the majority of them just trying to get their channels out there. But I help people out. And I'm still how I've always been since I started my fucking channel. I've been fair to everybody. I have let you on the podcast where other people, like I said, go ask Broken Games if he'll let you on this podcast or Next Gen 720. Or that other fucking, or uh, what's his name? Uh, go ask uh, One Stop for Gamer. Well, he lets anybody in the Dream Team if you fucking kiss his ass enough. But just, just go ask some of these other people. I think gamers at large, you have to fill out an application. And like I said, not saying my podcast is the shit or anything, but I have a lot of people ask me on a daily basis to come in that podcast, and I'm nice, and I get you in there, you know, I, I, I mean, I'm just saying, but I'm not going to be so nice if I ever see that shit again, and I'm not going to do it to everybody, just people I see, I'll, I'll mark you on a little list, and I'll remember it, you know, I won't listen to shit like that, you know, I'm not going to do it, it's not going to happen, but yeah, Nick, I appreciate, uh, I understand your video, uh, you understand what they're doing with the DLC, you were talking about on this DLC, that video was not really about that. I know all about on this DLC. I don't think it's right. I've said it in many videos. I understand all that. You know, look at fucking Splatoon. Look at Destiny that had on this DLC. Look at all them games. You know, they're doing it. It's the day and age we're in. We're in 2015, guys. You know, the only way to really stop it is if everybody was to stop buying their game, which you guys really got, you guys got to really think YouTube is a small voice. The casual world... I have friends that don't even know about this gaming community, and they're going to go, if they like Star Wars or they like Call of Duty, they're buying the season pass, and there ain't nobody going to sit there and tell them, oh, stand together and we'll do this. It's not happening. They're going to buy it anyways. The world outweighs YouTube. I'm sorry. YouTube is small compared to the fucking actual world that's buying video games. You know? Um... But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I wanted to say more in this video. I'm not going to make it, you know, uh, a long-ass video, but basically, my point was... I was just getting at, you know, my the whole thing is basically people just bitch about stuff that they never even attended on buying. Like, they're, half of them never even attended on buying the season pass for fucking uh, Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, let alone the fucking game. Basically, that's what it com comes down to. You know, look at all the people, like I said, with Arkham Knight, with the season pass, and now that they're actually out there giving you bullshit, how many people are actually making videos about the bullshit that's being released, you know? Let's, let's think about that, you know, but really look at my video, what I said, I never said I stood by this, I never said that, I have countless videos where I'm against DLC, I've even been told when I was saying shit by DLC, and I know RXL was probably trolling, but when I was bitching about the, uh, the Evolve DLC, and it came out to be 150 bucks, you know, he's like, oh, you don't have to buy the skins, you know, I was told I was a fucking idiot when I was pretty much bitching about it, you know, but I'm actually one that might buy that game. 
You know, I was actually thinking of buying that game because I buy a lot of fucking games. Here's just some games on my floor, you know. <laughs> you know, these are just some of the games I bought recently. I mean, I buy, I buy games, you know. I, I buy games, you know. I actually buy games. I don't sit here and just bitch about it. I actually, you know, bought Destiny the Taken King and I bought the first one, you know, that came out, you know. I buy games that we can bitch about. You know, I got tons of digital games. You know, I buy a decent amount of games. You know, I believe I'm... I do stand by broken games where he says, when generation's over, I'm done. I move on to the next generation. I don't keep this shit, you know. But I buy my games, you know. But it is what it is. That's my video. I think I covered everything I want to. I don't stand by season passes. I don't think what they're doing with Star Wars uh, Battlefront is right. I don't think it's right with the fifty dollars premium, but I with the premium, but I didn't think it was right with fucking Hardline and Battlefield Four and Batman Arkham Knight and fucking Evolve. I don't think you know, but people are still if they really want the game, they're gonna go out and buy it. And you know why these developers do it? Because they know they can get away with it. You know, I heard something a while back. Uh, these developers aren't satisfied unless they make a hundred and something dollars on a game. It's not the sixty dollars no more. So expect this with a lot of games. You know. Well, online multiplayer, I always expect this shit with this. Ever since Call of Duty started doing it, you know, I always expected this. I was shocked when I was when I heard that people were surprised with with what was going on with Star Wars Battlefront that there was a premium, and it was fifty dollars. You know, one thing you guys forget to remember, they could just sell it to you as DLC and charge you fucking fifteen twenty bucks for the map pack, map packs instead of giving you the discount discounted price. For the season pass and you're getting them two weeks early which i know it's not right but it's a hell of a lot better deal than buying it separately if you're planning on getting the game i'm talking to people in my in my video if you're a person that's intending on buying this game and actually does buy games then that video was not for you that was the video for the people that bitch that don't even intend on buying the you know the season pass or game in the first place that's all it was that's my video, guys. Thank you, uh, Dwayne Well, for the kind words. I appreciate it, buddy, and I appreciate uh, the video response. If it was a video response to me, I heard you mention me in the video, part video response, whatever. Uh, Nick, I appreciate your uh, video response. Let me just get your name of your channel. You changed the uh, you changed the channel. I give you a correct shout out. Um, both uh, Nick's. Video and Dwayne's uh, Wells video will be in the uh, comment section. Gamer Nick Incorporated. Thank you, buddy. Uh, like I said, Dwayne Wade Dwell. Uh, appreciate it, man. More videos to come. Thank you, YouTube.